Penta is a water company. So Penta's strategy is to, to supply the world with good quality of water. One of the main targets from our key industrial customers are is, is health and safety for their environment. And that's why they are adopting membrane filtration technology in respect to the traditional way of using chemicals to clean. For some of our key accounts, it's very challenging for them to allow people from outside access to their production facilities, especially to their production control domains. When we target um, our products in the field, you want to connect them as easy as you can. The flexibility and the user friendliness of the AWS platform that made Pentair choose to go for AWS. We are focusing a lot on breweries with regards to a lot of products in our portfolio. We are currently using uh, BMF, beer membrane filtration of Pentair, to filter our, uh, our beer before it goes to the market. When we look at what we're specifically doing for our Heineken global supply chain, we target to extract as much information as we can. So how can we learn from the data we extract? How can we improve our BMF process? To do so, we need a lot of information. And that needs to be guaranteed, transmitted securely to the cloud. So that's where AWS Greengrass comes into play. We developed our own cloud gateway, which we install on-prem at the different production facilities and we run our Lambda functions inside the Greengrass core environment that extract the information and send it to AWS IoT core. The benefits that we are, uh, that we are expecting are better performance at a lower cost, but as well at a higher flexibility. And also we have a higher predictability with regards to the planning, which is very important for brewers. Since we start this center of excellence together with Pentair, we were able to improve our performance, our OPI, with 10% around the globe. We are just in the beginning, so uh, if I look to the whole, uh, the whole, the whole uh, journey we like to go with, uh, with AWS, we are just on the beginning. But you see now already the system is much more robust. So I think the first results of the Internet of Things and what we expect for them is already showing.